Hello, my name is Shadley and welcome back for another episode of Victoria 3 as Korea. In previous episode, we were building up our military a decent bit and our construction speed has been increasing quite a bit. We've got a 200 total construction speed right now. It could be higher. It was a good start though. And then we got GDP up to 55 million already, which is a decent increase. Of course, the Heavenly Kingdom has been increasing quite a bit on this side as well. They got 220. So it's still about four times of what we have. But I think we are going to start uh, preparing for the independence. Actually, we've got the troops upgraded. I think we might be going ahead and declare the independence now. They will not accept. We can always back down if need be, I suppose. So we'll confirm that. That is, as soon as the diplomatic play starts, uh, we should start making a whole lot more money, I presume. There we go. Uh, right, so we shall mobilize these troops. They will cost us quite a bit of uh, troops here. So actually, where do I give the orders? Deploy to front. We'll keep it. Well, actually, no. We can probably deploy both of these to the front. And let's have a look. Who would be something that we can sway? Spain is something that we can sway. Okay. Uh, Russia. Okay, no. Interesting. So we might not get as much help as I was hoping for. We'll need to wait for a little bit anyway. Of course, if they get help from someone, then I will probably have more likely to get some of their enemies to join in. The damaging relations. All right, then. So what's their demands right now? Um... My war goal is independent. They don't have a war goal yet. That's probably just, Oh. Right, that's a quite a bit of... Are we still paying the... Uh, yeah, we are paying the diplomatic pact. Right, so we're paying now £50,000 per week. All right, then. They haven't brought any need troops to the front line quite yet, have they? Oh, they're still traveling. Right, okay. We've got okay defense. We're mostly going to be holding our ground, I hope. Actually, are we holding our ground? Ah, right, that's uh, where we put in the orders. So you defend. And you defend. We just need to hold our uh, ground here, basically. But the fact that we're still paying the uh, money, even though we got the diplomatic play. I mean, I suppose at war, we probably won't be paying them. I'm pretty sure that that's been patched out. I remember in the Hedgehog's playthrough that we did, we were trying to do independence war against Egypt, but we still had to pay even during the war. Uh, to uh, pay the tributary or tributary things for them, which is a bit annoying, admittedly. It meant that we couldn't get independence for the longest time in that playthrough either. Now, to be fair, in this one, we didn't really try too much beforehand. How's the market? So we are we are still in part of typing market, aren't we? Yeah, we are. All right then. Yeah, we've got quite a bit of money for the military buildings right now. Uh, so how's the if we have a look at the stuff now, so they've got okay attacks, but I think we've got a bit higher attacks overall. Our defense is mostly fine. It could be probably bit better, but it's good enough for now. Uh, let's go ahead and sway Spain into this. Uh, transfer states. Oh, no, I'm not going to give you states directly. No, okay. But there's no war goals that you are willing to take. And no obligations. All right, then. So we might not get any help on this war. Hmm. Well, in that case... Uh, we might want to go ahead and uh, go with the military statistics research instead. Hand crank machine gun would also be quite handy. We can maybe get the repeaters and all that. So I think this might actually be a loss in this particular war. Have they put in a war goal? Oh, war operations. Okay. So that's an extra 10% of our treasury then. Um, yeah, I think it might be worthwhile for us to actually just uh, mobilize the trips as well just to have that extra manpower on the front line because i do not want to give any states to spain just to have them help me like that's too much for me and no one else is really willing to join in either if nothing else i might be able to wreck their economy at least and my own i suppose at the same time i do actually wonder how strong are the armies they've got a lot of light infantry some skirmish infantry actually quite a bit of skirmish infantry in there a lot of shrapnel artillery, some lanterns. I do... Hmm. How much could we still have uh, troops in the armies? That one... Well, it's not a lot extra. Unless we start hiring some more generals. To be fair, we probably could do. That's extra offense. I suppose we could take one of these. Put that to defend front. And then let's go ahead and get some more... I think more artillery at least will be very handy. And maybe a bit more infantry. Get another 20 battalions or so. Uh, we got 95 already total. Oh. 
Oh, right, that's some of the contrips already raised up. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and push the... Power, well, one of the power plants down and the railway down, so we can increase the military size a bit during the war, at least. But right now, the advantage is on their side, although we'll be mostly defending. They've got a bit higher offense value than we do. Of course, they've got a lot more battalions in here. But I think we can still at least hold the ground for the most part. I'm hoping, at least. Losing quite a bit of... Oh, actually, let's have a look at the trade routes. Um... Now, the problem is that I'm still kind of trading for the Chinese market, which is not exactly ideal. I was kind of hoping that I could have uh, attracted someone to help me on this, but I guess not. I guess we can just go ahead and speed uh, until the start of the war. There's not much else is going to be happening. They've got 50... Oh, yeah, there are 271 battalions now. We have started at least uh, recruiting some. We've got fairly high upkeep. I'm pretty sure that the diplomatic pack... Once that expires, once the war starts, that should go away, at least. And that might start reducing the stuff. We may need to go ahead and uh, reorganize a bit of the trade routes as well afterwards, but that's all right. Everyone declared neutrality on this war. We've got 97 battalions right now. We're going to be getting more. Right, and uh, now we are no longer pay. Oh. Okay, suddenly we're losing a whole lot of money. Uh, yeah, GDP drastically drop. Okay, so first of all, we'll drop a lot of these trades that we can't do. Um, so that's at least a little bit. That's actually a lot of uh, profitability there. So if we have a look at the Korean market now. So we have uh, not enough liquor, but that can be fixed. Except, uh, in fact, quite easily. Uh, we won't have enough fish by the looks of it. But that, oh, hold on a minute. We could improve the fish production with steam trawlers. And of course, the steam power whalers as well, we can get in. So that should help. Um, the investment pool is dropping. Oh, hardwood production is not enough now. I suppose what we could do is we could take one of these. Uh, not that one. Uh, where's the logging camp? There we are. Get the hardwood production. It will still be quite a bit. How much do we need hardwood right now? Well, it's 400. Oh, right. Okay. Well, in that case, let's go ahead and take all the logging camps and put on a bit of hardwood production that will drop the price at least a little bit at le in some states quite a bit but that should at least help with the situation uh, we will need a lot more wood as well and sugar artillery uh, clippers although the clippers is something that we where do we need the clippers right now whaling station all oh, right well that's going to be going away so if we unpause there'll probably going to be a few battles happening soon Oh, there is a battle going on already in here. They got a lot of troops there. We got okay defense. They got such a massive uh, manpower advantage in there. And there's another battle in here that we're going to be winning. So we'll still lose a bit of ground over here, I reckon. Hopefully they'll take a lot of casualties, but I think, well, they are taking more casualties than we are. But the difference isn't enough. Uh, dye goods, we need to import some of that. Um, who could we import from? We will import some from the Russian market. Might not get enough from there. So what's the trade routes that we still have? We're making a whole lot of money from the tool imports. If we have a look at the market itself. Coffee is in high demand. Um, fine art is in high demand. Dyes, of course, are in massive demand. Wood. Uh, furniture is in pretty massive demand as well. Sugar, artillery. So yeah, I think this may have been a bit of a mistake. And now we've got a whole lot of lead. Which is costing us a lot of extra because we have such a massive production. I suppose one of the things that we could... Is the coal demand... Okay, there's quite a bit of extra coal available, actually. Well, in that case, one of the things that we could start doing is going for the various uh, industries and start putting... Oh, mechanized... Oh, tool prices, of course, is still bloody massive. Uh, can we go ahead and go with pot stills on all of these? Probably not. So not all of it is going to be worthwhile. Right, now, furniture manufacturers, we could maybe reduce the... Well, I mean, we'll be using a bit more coal, at least. Reduce the labor use quite a bit. And then tooling workshop, we can maybe use a bit more coal. Actually, a lot more coal. And start reducing the worker need drastically. The paper mills, we can probably do something similar. So we can actually start reducing the deficit in a lot of places uh, to some degree. Maybe not the steel mills, because those are not going to make a much profit. Uh, I suppose... Arms Industries, we can maybe do something similar. And also at the artillery foundry. Oh, speaking of which, we can get the breech loaders in there. Bit less iron, a lot more artillery production, so that'll be quite handy. 
And an arms industry. Right, so we can't uh, upgrade that any further right now. Munitions plant, is that something that we could do? Uh, it's not really profitable right now. Arts Academy. Oh, right, photographic art. Right, let's get that in. I forgot about that one. And yeah, so that's a bit more textiles. Could that be? It would be profitable. At least in theory. It uh, saves us a lot more manpower to fight our wars then. Ooh, that's another big battle. I don't know if we're going to be win winning this. Now, admittedly, luckily, if we lose the war, it's just going to be the war operations. So it's not the end of the world. Oh, trade agreement with Russia. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Actually, that reminds me of the things that we got massive amounts. Uh, we could probably go ahead and export some. Maybe to Russians. Less bureaucracy costs. Does take a bit of convoys, though. So it looks like the battles are still going very much against us. We won some battles up here, but that's about it. I mean, this, oh, this is a small army that is fighting some of the battles in here. It's not looking strong. Uh, admittedly, the enemy is taking more casualties overall and demoralized uh, more troops, but it's not quite as easy as one might hope. Oh, and all the... Okay, everyone's losing prosperity. Um... Trade is inactive because we don't have enough convoys. Okay, we'll just cancel those. And cancel that one. That reduces some of the deficit now. We've got 46,000 though. Oh, we lost a huge amount of convoys. Okay, so if we don't use convoys... We still got the fleets moving about here. That's going to be a loss there. How much of a growl are they actually going to be taking? I'm kind of curious. Not mm, too much. I mean, that... Yeah, no, it hasn't really switched the... Oh, is that a landing? No. There's a fight in there, though. It's uh, not showing the front line switch too much. It's still showing that it's in here. Oh. But no, they're, they're going to be winning the battles now. I think they are actually taking a bit of ground in here. Oh, yeah, they're taking a huge ground there now. So I think this was a loss. Yeah, the problem was that we didn't have any allies. If we had gotten some allies, we could have won this. I guess we'll just capitulate. No point in uh, prolonging the war. Break room and broken. We're losing quite a bit of money right now, but I suspect that the economy will recover soon. Oh, they're still occupying the area. Oh, there we go. Now it's a uh, reset. And now we're back to about 200 total IC. Oh, not IC. Um, production. Um, we've got still okay relations with typing. Are we still paying for them? Yes, we are. Okay, 61,000 per week right now because of the... Uh, yeah, okay. Everything else as well. Uh, well, you reduce quite or drop quite a bit in GDP. I don't know if the Chinese drop any. Um, not as much. A little bit, but not as much. But I suppose that does help with the industries now again. How's the... So is there a huge coal demand? I mean, there's fairly high, I suppose. Uh, but we could potentially switch back away from these. We can save a lot of money. The tooling workshop, I mean, actually, yeah, we can switch that one away. And I suppose we can go back to just the grocery production. If we reduce the tool and coal use again, we can save us a lot of money. We'll still keep the artillery production as is all the well. I suppose we'll go with the hand assembly again. And at least provide a bit more work for people. Uh, we do need to drop one of the taxes now. So we can remove the luxury clothing tax, I suppose. And then in the meanwhile, was there anything else that we switched? For the most part, not too much, actually. Investment port is currently going downwards. I'm guessing, how's the companies actually faring? Are they getting... Oh, yeah, they're gaining their prosperity back slowly but surely. Well, the mines actually aren't. Is there something I can do about that? Uh, not really. Pretty much as they were. We did increase the logging camp. Oh, right. Can we actually switch to software production? We could. That would mean that we'd have to import the hardwood. And we'll keep a bit of hardwood production just in case. We'll probably reduce some of the con or production costs for various other things anyway. So it's probably not too bad. The litter rate has gone up to almost 50% now. And we're losing a bit of money, but it's not too bad. Investment port is going downwards though. We're increasing the um, army size a bit further. So if we do another war, we could maybe a bit of better chance of winning. Uh, Russians, could we actually re improve relations with you? Not anymore. We've already maxed out. Uh, Britain, we're currently improving relations. What about someone else? Uh, pretty Shiraj? No, I don't think we're going to do much with them. Shogun, we're already pretty good to relations. So can't do much there. So now we're giving Heavenly Kingdom even more money. So that wasn't exactly as planned. But their GDP is 220 still. 
ish and we got to almost 56 million we did pick at 57 million to be fair but we've got a bit of ways to go to get back in there so i suppose we could just start redoing the trade routes couldn't we uh i suppose there's a lot of tool demand so we'll ooh. um you know what produce market we'll start importing from there we can import a lot from there that's going to be taking most of the uh convoys to be fair and then well there's a lot of demand for steel although we produce a lot of it north german federation uh we could probably get a decent bit of money out of that i suppose we are we getting any steel mills right now not currently but we could make a lot of money with them i mean let's have a look oh yeah that's two thousand per level right now so we could potentially in fact get another steel mill going in there and there's a Oh, low organization. Do we have... Um, oh, we have a command limit on one of the armies. Yeah, this one needs a new one. Defensive strategist. We'll take that one. Oh. So you don't have all the orders available, but... Do these have? Does this just advance and defend? All right then. I didn't realize they had added in the various tactics as well. Or new tactics in there as well, as I say. So military statistics is still going to take um, a bit less than a year. Probably about 10 months. GDP has uh, largely recovered. Already 56. If we do have a look at the ledger. We've still got about 10 million distance to Austria. And Belgium is not that far behind us. Of course we've been mostly focusing on expanding our military recently. So that's not really improved our GDP with the um, sort of uh, government construction in here. But, uh, we'll, well, we'll be getting a bit of more railways and power plants at Steel Mill, which is going to be quite handy. And I suppose, is there anything else? We could build another furniture manufacturer over here, actually. Seems like it would be quite profitable. If we do have a look at the total market prices in, though, so the fine art is still a massive price. We did increase the oil production a bit further. Oh, rubber discovered in Cambodia. Very nice. Oh, does that? Hold on, textile mills? No, we haven't unlocked the elastics yet. That requires the vulcanization. Speaking of which, the production is getting the vacuum canning right now. After that, it's uh, got the threshing machines, aniline, or vulcanization. One of those three is going to be spreading next. Now, we were doing a bit of the identification documents, which admittedly the extra taxes would be very handy. We're currently losing 58,000 due to the lack of uh, taxation capacity. So yeah, that's something that we may need to look into. Also, maybe getting a few more ports wouldn't hurt either get a bit more convoys because we can get 175 convoys per port although we actually only get about half of that ourselves because we're not the leader of the um market against the odds apparently goes from discrimination Protestant and pops become more radical there's not that many Protestant and pops though uh we may need some new regulation to keep the peace go with that option oh there we go 58 million gdp is that actually going to stay i think it might it's not dropping yet, so yeah. 58 million GDP already. We're still number 10 worldwide, at least. But uh, we, oh, we are getting a bit more railways being built. And some coal mines and mines, more tooling workshops as well. I suppose there's a huge demand for tools. So that makes uh, perfect sense. Uh, coal in type... Oh, coal price is a bit high, actually. I mean, to be fair, we've got still a lot of coal mines to be built. And that is probably a huge profitability in here. So that's all good. We've got 29 million population already. That's been skyrocketing. We've got 11.8 uh, standard of living and 50% literary rate. We've still got about uh, 14 years before the end of the game as well. Which should be fair. We should probably go back to speed 5 actually. Oh, looks like Denmark is having a revolt. Capitalist revolt at that. Currently improving relations with Germany and uh, Britain. I guess if we were to improve relations with Spain a bit for... Oh no, we can't improve relations with Spain. Right, then who can we improve relations with? Austria? French Republic? They probably wouldn't accept that. Heavenly Kingdom? Maybe. Oh, actually, USA. If we could get USA's help to get independence, that would be brilliant. Because I suspect that they're probably fairly strong. Oh, right. Can I... Oh, there's a war between USA and Mexico. Yeah, USA versus Mexico. They're going to be taking a lot of stuff from there. Oh, hold on a minute. Is that... Oh, North German Federation is helping Mexico here. All right, then. Interesting. We're still losing 15,000 pounds per week. We do still have a 1 million in gold reserves, though. How long? I suppose it's still going to take a while before the uh, war operations ends. Uh, I think it's uh, as long as the truce is ongoing, which is going to be another four years. 
So it will be a bit expensive. But I'm sure that the GDP will be increasing fairly quickly. It's already almost 59 million. So I think we will be reaching at least 60 million today. And then uh, the, in the next episode, it's probably going to be growing by another 5 million. And so on. So we'll probably be able to get like, I don't know, 80 million GDP total. But I suppose uh, with the 216 million with the Heavenly Kingdom, I don't think we'll be able to reach them. We can probably, you know, get to the point where they were at the start of the game, more or less. To be fair, I'm not entirely sure how much they had in there. It was a bit hard to tell, but it was probably like 80 million at least. But we did manage to reduce the power price at least a little bit, which is good. Well, I mean, we didn't do that in every state yet. Although we are, well, that's going to be getting one soon. And then there's going to be one over here. I think that we... Actually, no, we're not building a second one in there yet. So any sort of extra tool uses is probably off the... Uh, menu, so to speak, with many of these upgrades. I suppose also the coal use, because there's just a massive demand for coal everywhere in the market. And the military building, we could probably go back to steel holes soon enough. I mean, as soon as we get the monitors, I suppose that's going to be the thing. Currently, we're getting the military statistics, and after that, it's going to be the repeaters and hand cramp machine guns. Steel frame building would be quite handy as well, to be fair. The civilizing mission seems to be taking a while, although it's uh, three to five months now that we get that. It's 21 to 65 points that we get uh, with tech spread, which is of course still a lot less than what we get from innovation. It's not too bad though. But I suppose what we could do is we could get one more university somewhere. Maybe we'll get one in the northwest here. Improve that a bit further. So we, what do we got in the government construction? Steel mill, furnished manufacturing, a port, and then the university. So these two are going to be done relatively quickly. We are on already 59 million GDP. How far are we behind uh, Austria? Eh, still about 10 million. Actually, a bit more than 10 million. It's about 11 right now. And Belgium is only about three, or a bit less than 3 million behind us. So we might lose our spots here soon enough. At least Heavenly Kingdom hasn't increased too much. And how's the... So we're number 46 in GDP per capita, and that's actually not bad. I mean, while our population admittedly is increasing quite quickly... Is there? Oh, right, so there's the electric arc process, so that's, uh, oh, that's uh, probably not going to be something that will reach. I would have to be in the production, so it's um, over there. That's a tier 4 stuff. Easier said than none. Of course, we could, uh, how much is the max innovation that we could have? 125. So if we were to reach that one sooner or later, or sooner rather than later, maybe, we could maybe get a bit more of the research done. Let's go ahead and start getting a few more uh, universities. And also, there's a lot of uh, uh, qualifications that we need to get for the populations in the states that we already have. Using £20,000 a week right now. Oh boy. At least the GDP is increasing, but of course, uh, while the GDP increases, we need to pay more and more money to the... Oh, there we go. I suppose one of the things that we could do is we could just increase the taxes again. That will basically make sure that we're not losing money. It might reduce the... Well, maybe not the GDP directly, but at least we don't have to take a loan. And we can keep mo things moving. No, oh, enlistment officers uh, is spreading. Let's have a look. So that would be over here. Contributor battalions. Yeah, all right, then. Oh, right. That unlock the advanced training. Did we? Hold on a minute. Oh, we didn't even have the general training. Right. Well, we can at least get a slightly more training rate there, then. So that was on me. As per usual. So how long until we get the steel mill? That is going to be 8 weeks of 13 weeks for the furniture manufacturing. And then we'll get the port and a few universities. That will get us well over 100. That should get us to about 110 innovation. More or less. So it's a decent increase in the speed of research. Although overall not necessarily that huge increase. A little bit other than nothing of course. So we're still the leading producer in Man of Wars. That meaning that we're probably the only one producing them anymore. Uh, we do still need to... Get a little bit of those for the frigates, to be fair. We do have the navy a bit larger now, although they are still hiring some more people. At least it's kind of underway in there. Unfortunately, we can't upgrade the frigates yet. We need to get the monitors at some point, but that's going to take a while still. We are getting a lot more steel millers as well, and motor industries by the private sector, and more coal mines, so there's still a lot of GDP. Oh, there we go. We hit 60 million already. Yeah, no, we need a lot more steel. How's the manpower difference? So they still got... Oh, they got 61 still. Mm. All right, then that's uh, not great. Because if we get enough support, we might still be able to get our independence. 
So I'm pretty sure that they're... Oh, it's 216, so they've actually gone down a little bit. Still, I mean, not massive amount, mind you, but they are going slightly down. Kind of hoping that they had a massive revolution or something that would reduce their strength. But I don't think that's going to happen. I suppose... Oh, the free trade. I don't think we're going to get that one. Uh, is there any more? Oh, we are out of... We're out of bureaucracy. I guess that's another thing that we need to do. Build some more of these. The tax capacity is uh, starting to be a bit of a problem. So we definitely need to get a bit more of that. Um, Prince of Black demands to conquer Yangnam from us. I think we'll see the demand of war go and uh, create a truce for five years. No! Well, at least China is going to be helping us here. I guess what we'll do is we'll go ahead and mobilize the troops. Over and be in the southeastern state that they would have demanded. But no, we can't afford that. And of course, we can't now demand anyone to join it. We're just, you know, the junior or the sort of non-negotiating partner in this war. We're at least uh, mobilizing troops, and the Chinese are probably doing the same. And you can actually move troops from one army to the other. I guess we've got the fleet that we could also go ahead and... Oh, Russia sides with us. Oh, excellent. Oh, and Russia abandons us again. Okay, uh, so that wasn't great. Uh, Okay, uh, right, so we've got this fleet. Where can we actually do this? This is an HQ. Land naval invasion. No. Ah, right. Um, raid convoys, interception. What else do we have? No, none of those yet. I guess we'll keep it in the interception. And if we were to move this, I guess we'll go for that C node. We're going to be losing a whole lot of money in here, I reckon. I don't know where, if the French are going to be doing a landing. I don't know where exactly they'll be doing it. Austria damage in relations. Okay, that's not good. Uh, so is anyone leaning either side? No, not really. Russians were already asked to join in, but they decided to not join. Bloody Russians. Oh, we can see that they got a lot of troops in here. They are activating a lot of their armies as well. Oh, and French Senegalese armies. Okay. So I do wonder if they... The French are going to do landing in my territories or in the Chinese territories, because either one is probably... I suppose Yongnam is probably the one that they want to do landing into. A lot depends, of course, how many can they land at the same time. Uh, Navy-wise, the numbers-wise, at least, were roughly equal. Uh, I'm guessing, well, I suppose we're paying a whole lot for the military stuff right now. Uh, I don't suppose there's trade routes... Okay, that's something we can probably stop for the time being. We're still trading with Britain. Pretty good trade there, actually. We're going to be taking a whole lot of uh, debt right now during this war, though. We've got 64 million GDP. That's not too shabby. And no one else can uh, soon join into the war. So, numbers-wise, we've got more troops, but I'm sure that their troops are better quality. So, a lot depends if we can prevent them from doing a landing. If they get a foothold, then that's going to be the end of uh, me, really. I don't think we can do much beyond that, then. I mean, we'll only lose one state, and it's uh, probably the weakest state that we have. Uh, but it is uh, still quite a bit. I mean, how much is that in GDP, actually? Nine million. Right, so yeah, it's still a decent bit. And the war has started. Got a bit of fleets in here, hopefully defending the place. There's a bit of... Uh... Oh, yeah, there's a bit of typing fleet over there. What fleet do they have in here? They've got a lot of frigates and some monitors. Okay. Well, we've got the ironclads at least in here. That'll hopefully help us, you know, deal some damage to the enemy. Even though it might not be a lot. But I do also see that we are actually out of time for this episode. So if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, check out the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, bye bye.